When I was a child, uh, I was not good at anything. I was not good at sport, I was not good at study. Those days, uh, my parents were working, running a small uh, shop. And when I come back from the, the school, and if I am at the shop, that uh, disturbed them. So uh, they sent me to, uh, how to say, sort of a private tutor school. And uh, as long as I was there, uh, they were happy. So, uh, and I wasn't uh, good at study, as I said. Uh, so, uh, those days, the, the school, the, the private tutoring school, uh, used to uh, give uh, regular tests. And uh, uh, they list up names uh, of uh, top 30 or so. But I was never in them. I was that kind of a... Uh, uh, <coughs> Uh, pupil. Then one day uh, they gave us a quiz and uh, they somehow carefully uh, designed it. So uh, the, the people who got the, the quiz correct get a slice of uh, a roll cake. Usually I'm not interested, but uh, because of the cake or you know, whatever, I got switched on and uh, I could solve the problem. Somehow I was the only one. And uh, so I got the whole cake without any slice. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, since uh, I usually don't do this kind of thing, the teacher was worried and uh, she came with me to my house and uh, she explained it to my parents. And uh, so my parents were very, very glad and uh, they praised me a lot. That was possibly my first experience. And the story wasn't that simple in the sense that uh, after that I could do everything. But no, <laughs> I couldn't do uh, many things. But uh, nevertheless, I, I think I got uh, confidence a little bit. In, so it was on, on mathematics, yeah. When I entered senior high school, uh, my mother uh, tried to uh, develop my talent, I mean, if I may say so, uh, in mathematics. So, uh, so she took me to, to uh, various places, but, uh, but I don't think my father uh, wanted me to become uh, a scientist or anything. The confidence to become a professional mathematician is uh, not something I could get till much, much later. When I was uh, senior high, I was reading a book on mathematics and there was some, some uh, uh, sentence about uh, uh, pi and e, a base of uh, natural log, uh, that, that they are uh, something called transcendental numbers. So a num transcendental Transcendental number is a number which doesn't solve any algebraic equation with uh, integer coefficients. And uh, first I, was there, I had no idea what it means and how to solve it. And uh, I got curious again. And I went to a library of the, the, the uh, senior high school. And uh, Spending one day, I could find a book, very old book, maybe something like uh, 50 years old, written in uh, uh, old-style Japanese. And, uh, but still, still uh, the, I, the, the proof I found was very interesting. In high school, uh, we learn a very uh, basic uh, integral integral from 0 to infinity of e to 
power minus x of dx. And uh, if it's multiplied by 2x to the power n, there is some, some formula. And uh, it's an easy exercise, but somehow this was the key to solve uh, this uh, transcendency. And I was really surprised. I mean, this uh, a couple of thousand years old problem was related to such a <laughs> basic uh, 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 formula. So I was fascinated, and uh, that's another uh, uh, ingredient in my attachment to mathematics or, mathematics, or obsession, <laughs> you may call it. Uh, spring of 1969. Those days, uh, Tokyo University was sort of occupied by a by students' group, and uh, policemen pushed out the, the students. Uh, that was uh, January 19th. And then next day, uh, it was announced that the Tokyo University doesn't do an entrance exam. That was actually the only year they didn't give an entrance exam. And I took an uh, exam of Kyoto University. I could manage to, to, to pass. But but on the, the April, April is uh, the beginning month of the Japanese academic year. So about six months, there was no lectures. So some, for some students, this was discouraging when uh, so they went back to their home. And, but uh, in, my, in my case, uh, my, my colleagues, some of my colleagues, uh, thought that this is a good chance to run our own uh, seminar. So uh, we, I didn't speak up, but a friend of mine did, and uh, he suggested to use uh, a book of, uh, uh, by Van der Velden on uh, modern algebra. Maybe not modern in those days, but still, I, I, I think it was called modern algebra. And, uh, <coughs> we decided to, to run the, the seminar. But since uh, we had only uh, five or six students, and once we start quarreling, it's hard to decide who is right, who is wrong. <laughs> so we asked uh, the professor who is uh, uh, supervising the, the class. Well, uh, so, uh, there was no, no lectures. Nevertheless, uh, uh, professors assigned to the class. And uh, the professor was kind enough to, to supervise our seminar. And so that's how our seminar started. Uh, it was very, very enjoyable. <laughs> I thought I was lucky that there was no lecture. <laughs> yeah. When I chose to try to become a Mathematician, meaning uh, entering uh, uh, Faculty of Science of Kyoto University. My father told me, how can you make a living out of it? So, uh, but nowadays, uh, it's, it's known that uh, a students who majored mathematics earns highest salary in life. Of course, it's not much of my interest, but still it encourages uh, uh, students to, be, uh, to, to major mathematics. For me, those days, mathematics is uh, something to study, not for, for research. I, you know, once I got into uh, graduate school, I was supposed to, uh, to do research. You mean, but uh, it's quite difficult because in uh, in experimental science, uh, even if the, the the experiment didn't go well, you can learn something from it and you can publish from uh, the, the the result. But in mathematics, everything is up in the air, and uh, if I solve something, I can certainly publish it in some way. But if I failed, 
I mean, if I fail the proof, uh, there is no result, and uh, it's quite uh, difficult. So that's why I sort of uh, lost the, the, the confidence, you know, how further I can be a successful or reasonable <laughs> mathematician. Before I became 30, I received a, a prize, something called a Chunich Culture Prize. And I, the effect of this prize was that since I got a prize, I have to continue mathematics. <laughs> it's a very primitive uh, idea, but nevertheless, uh, uh, I thought that I, I might uh, continue, you know, doing uh, mathematics. That time I was trying to compute some example of something called uh, a flips. Uh, flips is the key idea in the, the minimal model program. It took me more than several years to finish this problem, but uh, when I finished it uh, uh, a couple of years later, I got the Fields Medal. Yeah. Then I couldn't uh, leave mathematics. <laughs> you see, I was a timid kid, and uh, that's, that's my starting point. And uh, of course, it's uh, it's great to have a, a first medal, but uh, mentally I was not uh, ready to to you know to do various uh, duties I would have taken as a first medalist. It took me more than several years. Yeah. But the, at the time of the uh, congress. Uh, the media people sort of chased me around. <laughs> it was quite embarrassing. Yeah, I couldn't do a smile. <laughs> so I think it's very difficult for you to find uh, my smiling face at the time of Congress. About five years later, I got a phone call from uh, <coughs> a Professor uh, David Manford. Uh, he, he was asking if I would become an a executive committee member of the International Mathematical Union. That time he was a, a president of International Mathematical Union. He said it's nice, it's nice uh, kind of club. So I said, so uh, not knowing exactly what, I, I said, okay, I'll try. <laughs> and that's how I... Uh, got into the, this. And uh, that's gradually changed my, my attitude. Yeah. Not just research, but something related to research and interaction with other people. Yeah. When I was really small, uh, I had a mis misunderstanding that by becoming a mathematician, I can just do computations without talking to people. But uh, this gradually changed. And uh, even at the high school days, uh, once I, once something is related to mathematics, I can be pretty uh, outgoing. For instance, in my senior high school, there was no mathematics club, so I, I asked uh, uh, my teacher to create one, and he created me for me. So, uh, so I enjoyed uh, this uh, math mathematics club. So uh, by that time, I certainly changed, not completely yet. I mean, mathematically, I think once you got some question or curiosity, you just uh, uh, don't try to find an easy answer. When I got interested in uh, the problem, uh, it's hard for me to, to stop thinking. So at night, I, uh, of course, I cannot solve the problem in one day. So I start uh, 
thinking of a problem, uh, it has to go on. But uh, when I got tired, very, there are various sort of uh, uh, false ideas. Sometimes successful, but uh, most, most of the time false ideas. And uh, when I think I solve the problem, I, I sort of uh, take a memo and uh, go to bed immediately. Otherwise, uh, if I find that it doesn't work, I cannot stop thinking and <laughs> it goes on. So uh, if I think I solved it, I took a memo of what I think is correct and I go to bed. And next morning I, you know, most of the time it, it's failing, but sometimes it works. I think that uh, the, the essence of mathematics is that uh, by changing the way to look at a problem, it becomes uh, all, of a, all of a sudden easy. It's like... <laughs> that's uh, the, the, the idea of mathematics. Yeah. Once uh, I solve a problem and got the, the excitement, the feeling of excitement, it's hard to, to forget it. It's almost obsessing. Nowadays, uh, mathematics is quite often needed in, uh, in many aspects, but uh, uh, researchers working there doesn't really uh, know the, the real mathematics. They can use mathematics to compute things, but uh, mathematics is not just uh, science for, for, for numbers, but it handles also uh, ideas. For that part, they need a mathematician, I think. And for this to materialize, mathematicians and the researchers in the other disciplines should communicate. Chatting or talking with the researchers from other disciplines, just doing that helps. And uh, often we got ideas in, in mathematics. The Japanese government, uh, uh, they they say mathematics is important, and all mathematical sciences, and uh, they, they create some projects, but uh, they won't uh, uh, return in a rather short period of time, like five, three years or five years, or at longest 10 years. Maybe 10 years is fine, but uh, in three years, it's very hard yeah, in, in, to, to have uh, uh, important results in mathematics. Yeah. I want the, the community to understand the, 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 the importance of mathematics and the, the way mathematics functions. Yeah. It takes time to uh, for mathematics to become useful, but once it becomes useful, it's, it's useful in uh, so many directions. I retired several years ago, and now I don't teach or have any uh, supervising student. But uh, before retirement, I, I was at uh, a research institute, so I did not have the, the duty to teach students. But, uh, so I didn't give a, a lecture course, but I had a seminar course, and uh, I used to uh, teach students uh, in a, a seminar style. It's hard to, to really uh, bring up a mathematician, but, uh, th so the, 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 the guy must have talent. But uh, a mentor can help he or she you know, uh, sort of grow as a mathematician and uh, to have a right kind of uh, uh, interest or right kind of problem. One can learn uh, some techniques or a theory, but uh, the real talent uh, you, you cannot sort of learn. Yeah. So Professor Nagata and Professor Hironaka, those are the, the people who uh, sort of guided me. Yeah. And their style, 
So, for instance, he, uh, Professor Nagata, he, he doesn't speak that much, but uh, uh, in his uh, article, he, once he uh, gave a very curious counterexample, he was called the Mr. Counterexample. Yeah? And the way he created uh, uh, the, the, the counterexample I mentioned was to have uh, some mathematical object which, have, uh, which doesn't have the, the right kind of dimension. So, I mean, I don't have to be very specific, but ju just, just uh, uh, curve is one dimension and surface is dimension two. And what he does is somehow he connects a curve on the play, uh, surface, you know, somehow connected, and uh, bends the, 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 this stuff and uh, uh, they join it. He joins it. So uh, somehow along this stuff, it's one dimension. Along this stuff, it's dimension two. And th they are somehow connected. He sort of uh, theoretically creates such an object entity. And out of this, he creates a counterexample, uh, which sort of uh, uh, shows that this doesn't have the right kind of dimension. And that somehow fascinated me. I just got interested in the problem, and uh, I look at it from various things. I don't know for what the standard method is. <laughs> but uh, once I got interested in I, some questions, I, uh, I keep it aside. I, I don't forget. Nowadays, I forget it easily, but uh, <laughs> I try to keep it, the, uh, the idea, the original question. And uh, if I solve it some, some partially, but still, I keep the original question. I don't think I have to solve all the directions. I only take up a question I got interested in. So uh, when I published the, the, the paper on the extreme array in 1982, there, there was various uh, possible directions to go. And uh, somehow I got interested in just one, one problem. And, uh, and also I was not good at uh, doing things in competition. So I, fo I wanted to forget about what other people do, and I just uh, kept uh, com kept computations. And uh, while I was working on this uh, flip, all, all other problems were solved by other people. The only problem remaining was this flip. And I, <laughs> that's what I solved it. Yeah. Somehow, this worked peacefully. <laughs> so when I was young, I usually worked alone. I, wo I usually worked alone. But then, uh, um, these days I uh, often, or most of the time, uh, uh, work jointly. Sometimes I, uh, I did some work and I abandoned uh, uh, some possible development. And uh, someone else sort of uh, uh, contacted me and proposed this, this is a problem. And uh, I, then I uh, liked the idea and started the, the joint work. This was uh, with uh, Prohorov, uh, Yuri Prohorov, uh, in, uh, around, uh, around 2000. And we could uh, finish the, we could pr publish the first work 2008. And uh, we are still continuing the joint work. Since my Harvard days uh, in the 1980, or even sometime in 1990s, I uh, often visited uh, foreign countries, uh, mostly uh, to US. 
and uh, um, by changing the the, the place, uh, I could uh, sort of refresh my mind and change my research style. So in uh, in New York, uh, basically, I just go back and forth between my house and my office. But my wife, she sort of takes kids around and uh, she goes to a uh, museum and so on. And sometimes she takes me there uh, for to, to a museum uh, to refresh myself. And uh, so in this sense, I owe her quite a lot. Uh, so some people, uh, it's best to just uh, keep working uh, com on mathematics completely, but uh, somehow, in my case, doing other things a little bit uh, is, uh, is, uh, hmm, is giving me the best results. Yeah. I think I'm a, a usual person in mathematics community, but in my family, I'm an unusual person. But I think this is typical among mathematicians. Yeah, so. I have four kids, and uh, I think uh, it's important to have uh, uh, understanding of mathematics to some extent. But I don't think they have to be a mathematician. Actually, I don't want them to be a mathematician, since uh, they may find a mistake I made. <laughs> so as you might guess, I'm a rather timid guy, still. <laughs> but my wife is a very outgoing person. So if something comes up, I got cautious. My, my wife uh, says, let's try. And uh, quite often, my wife wins, and uh, we, we try. Once uh, she took me to an uh, exhibition of uh, Paul Klee, and uh, I, I liked it, and uh, uh, so in the exhibition there was a, a Klee's word. Uh, it was translated into Japanese, and I can only know the Japanese phrase, and I, if I translate it into English, it's something like, uh, uh, Art is not uh, reproducing what one can see. It uh, makes things seeable. Ma makes uh, things seeable, you know. And uh, I liked that word. And somehow this applies to science too. I don't know whether I look for beauty of mathematics. Uh, I, I think beauty is something, mathematical idea is something you got only after you proved it. It's, you know, it's not something you can sort of look for. A math mathematical idea is not definable. <laughs> Essence of mathematics is to look at things in a, a, in a totally unique way and sometimes it drastically changes the, the, the view. Yeah, math, I think mathematics has a potential to, to make the world a better place. Mathematics cannot uh, change the world itself, only with the help of other disciplines. Uh, so, uh, as a mathematician, I never thought of, uh, I can change the world. <laughs> Maybe we can work together.